in Matthew 9. And let's see, nine months we're going on. Well, this way. So much good stuff. Okay. Now look at this. In Matthew 9, let's start about verse 32. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with the devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake. And the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He cast out devils through the prince of, of the devils. Now see, that's, okay, if they can't do anything about it, now they got to try, okay, if they can't stop the message, they got to try to stop the messenger. So they tried to make people look down on him in what he was doing and say, oh, well, he's doing that through, through the prince of devils, right? How do you think that affected some people? Some people were, listen to the Pharisees. I mean, these, these people are supposed to know. I'm sure some people go, well, I'm not sure about that Jesus character. You know, he does some pretty remarkable things. He does things so spectacular, has to be the devil. Now think about that. Couldn't be God. Isn't that terrible? We think if something looks too easy or something like that, well, it must be witchcraft. That's how too many people look at it. No, they said here, well, he does that by the prince of the devils. But now notice he says here, verse 35, and Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Now, notice he said, he went to every village, every city, every village, and healed every sickness and every disease among the people. Why? Because he was preaching the gospel of the kingdom. You see, you can't preach a gospel of a kingdom that says that God is superior to everything and has power over everything and then not demonstrate it by exercising God's power over those things that are not of God. Amen. Jesus was sent here. All Jesus did was go around doing what he read out of Isaiah 61. He said, this is my job. This is what I'm here for. This is what I've been sent to. This is a position I've been put in. And the spirit of the Lord is upon me so that I can do this. And then he went and did it. Amen. You get that? And as he did it, then he walked in dominion because he could calm the storm. He calmed the wind and the waves and all the things. And, and everybody looked at him and goes, wow, what manner of man is this? Why? Even the way, wind and the waves obey him. He speaks with such authority. Do you notice well, that's what just rile some religious devils up today. <clears throat> if you don't manifest, nobody will know. Okay? So you can keep it hidden. But I'm just trying to be nice for you. But now, notice, anytime Jesus is, anytime Jesus is described, you know what's amazing about it? You know what they talk about? His authority. You notice they never mention his love necessarily. Now the closest it comes is with Lazarus. You know, and then of course John says, I'm the disciple he loved, which probably just means John had some issues. You know, because he had to constantly re you know, reinforce that. Okay. I mean, we know he was the son of thunder, so he probably got scolded more than the Bible records, right? And he probably had to say, Yeah, well, Jesus still loves me. This I know. You know? I'm sure he's hit it. That's probably where the song came from anyway. <clears throat> but think about this. It never says, because it talked about how he was moved with compassion. But the people never said, what manner of man is this that has such love? You ever notice that? It doesn't say that. It says he, has, he speaks with such authority. He doesn't talk like these other religious people. He talks different. He, act, he actually talks like he knows what he's talking about. And then he backs it up. Amen. Think about that. Amen. Now, with Lazarus, it said, you know, he, he wept and people said, oh, look how much he loved him. But that's what they thought about him. That's not necessarily what it says about him. But do you realize that? I mean, and you can find how many times it says that he spoke with authority. Then they then that that stood out. Now, think about that. Now, we know he was love personified. He was love in the flesh. But what stood out was the authority that that love issued from. Yeah. Or came through, put it that way. Does this make sense? 